Beauty Bees, Chriselle Staus here, and today I'm gonna share with you my everyday eye look. It's a great look for whatever you're doing during the day. It's a matte look. We're gonna use a lot of browns and neutrals, and let's get started. So I've already shown you guys how to do a smoky eye, so today I'm going to do a little twist on that, and I'm gonna do a look that's good for everyday wear and a little lighter and something you can rock to work on a casual day, but you could even take it in tonight as well. So, I'm gonna start with the primer, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Put a little bit on both lids and rub it in. This is the most important step of eye makeup, you guys, because once you put this stuff on, it will not budge. You have to put it on first and then set it with powder, and then your eyeshadow will stay until you wash it off days later. Don't ask me why I know this, but I know this. All right, so I'm gonna set it with a little powder. Nobody wants a creased eyeshadow. That's like a pet peeve of mine. So, we are now all set to go. It takes a couple seconds, but it's so worth it. All right, here is where you're gonna be like, what is she doing? I'm actually gonna use a MAC blush for this bronze, matte, natural look that I wanna start and use. This is in Harmony. And it looks like a darker brown blush. I normally use this as a, as a um, bronzer on my cheek, but today I'm gonna to be using it as an eyeshadow. So this is one of those products you can use it for all the different kinds of things, which I love. So, I'm gonna take it, just like you would do any eyeshadow, just forget that it's a blush, and I'm gonna basically just use it as a base color. And I'm gonna put it basically all on the lid. The only parts you're gonna miss the very top and the very bottom. So sweep it across. You don't have to be too careful. You can't really mess it up because it's a skin tone. I kind of like things that aren't too precious and you can kind of play with because it makes it easy and hard to mess up really. So this is good for everybody because if you're not very good at makeup, this is a good eye you'd want to start with. So, just want to get a good base going. Because I like to pull that color around the bottom, just to kind of tie the whole look together. Now, I am going to use, this is a Stila In The Light eyeshadow palette. There's just all kinds of great colors in there. For this one, I'm gonna put just a little bit of a light color. Remember that bottom spot I said try not to go to? This is why. We're gonna just lighten it up. I'm using a color called Bare. You can use whatever color you want. You basically want it to be lighter than the color of your lid. And the color I used on the top, you want it to be darker than the color of your lid. But both of them should be skin tone based. So, now I'm gonna sweep this on the bottom part. Putting the light color there is just gonna kinda help open up your eyes. It won't be so heavy. All right. And just like we took that darker color and wiped it on the bottom, you can do the same with this one, the light. You can sweep it on the top. So just think, highlight, bottom top, and then you wanna put the darker colors to line and bottom. Last step, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick a dark color. You can pick whichever color you want. You can pick like a dark brown. You can even do a black if you want. Whatever you want, but basically what we're gonna do is we're just making a frame. So now you have the base. All you're doing is you're taking a dark color. I'm using ebony from the same palette. And basically just think of it like a picture frame. And you're just gonna draw the edge of the frame on the corner of your eye. See, just doing the corner and pulling it barely to the center, but very lightly. And then, I always like to blend, so I take that same brush we had before, and I'm just gonna blend it like that, so it's not too, you don't have to be too precious with that, you can really blend it. And same thing again, you wanna take that dark color and sweep it on the bottom. Now, 
putting this on the corner of your eye, it helps to make your eyes look bigger. That's the effect we're going for here. Always want to make sure it's blended though. And then again, sweeping it on the bottom. We haven't done eyeliner or mascara yet. That's the final step. I always like to do after eyeshadow, then do eyeliner. One of my favorite eyeliners is MAC and Teddy because it's a brown, but it's it's kind it's got a light shimmer to it. And it's one of these perfect colors that works for all kinds of skin tones. And it's not too dark. So it's a perfect color to use if you want to do a look that can go from day to night. So I'm going to sweep this across the top. And just like before, I'm going to pull it to the bottom as well. All right, now the very last step, sweep on a little mascara. No girl can be seen without a mascara, right ladies? So I'm gonna sweep some of this on. I am using Lights Camera Flashes by Tarte. I love this mascara. It does give a more dramatic look though, so if you like a natural look, this would not be the mascara for you. It's not for the shot. Like this is a good smokier look, but more for daytime turn nighttime. It's not too dark, but it's still fun, a little flirty, and it's a matte tone. So there's no shimmer, no glimmer, but it's a classic look. Girls just called. They want to meet after work for margarita. What do you do? Really quickly, this is how you just kind of make it a little more fun. My favorite, again, the Teddy Eyeliner by MAC and NARS Eyeshadow and Mekong. These, just throw in your purse. And you are ready for any situation. This will take two seconds. Well, a little more than that, but here we go. So this one has really good color payoff, so you only need a little bit. But whatever your favorite dark color is, is fine. Put it in, dust it off a little. And basically all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in that corner again, darken it up, but then I'm gonna pull it more in the inside to make it a little more dramatic because now we're talking margaritas we're talking happy hour so this one is a little more fun a little darker a little more hey what's your name all right so we're gonna do that on both sides and again my favorite trick of pulling that color around the bottom smaller brush for that. And the last step is the eyeliner that we put on earlier. This time I'm going to tight line my eyes. So I'm going to go into the waterline of my eye. So it just basically looks a little more dramatic. But it's also in brown, so it's not too, too big of a hussy. Well, anyway, um, so that's it. Takes two seconds. I darkened it up. Looks a little more, has a little more flair. And uh, now you're ready for some margaritas with the girls. I'm ready for a margarita. <laughs> Stay connected. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. And follow us on Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>